when a when a person is dealing toxic stress or undergoing or living through a trauma, what happens to their brains is that it produces an abundance of cortisol. And as a result, um, cortisol is a hormone and our brain starts swimming in it and it disrupts the part of our brain called the prefrontal cortex, which is the area of our brain that helps us to think. It's the thinking part of our brain. It's responsible for our attention span, our decision making, our problem solving, and our emotional regulation, which is key. So whether school is open or they're learning virtually, children are finding themselves in a constant state of elevated arousal and are living day to day in what is called a fight, flight, or freeze mode. Because when our cortisol raises to that level, the part of our brain that takes over is our amygdala. And the only thing that an amygdala can do is fight, flight, or freeze. It's the oldest part of our brain. And it was very useful a long time ago. It's not that useful anymore. So as a result, children with this abnormal cortisol pattern are that's induced by toxic stress are at a very high risk for aggressive and challenging behavior. They're going to have trouble sitting still, paying attention, concentrating, following rules and directions. They'll probably find it very hard to recognize and control their impulses, emotions and behavior, communicate their needs appropriately, understand other feelings or form satisfying relationships. And many adults are gonna feel that way too because we're all going through this together. And in addition, what happens is with this high level of cortisol, it can create a state of hypervigilance. And as a result, children might lash out for what they perceive as a threat. And you might not even recognize that perception um, and therefore not understand why are they behaving this way. But hypervigilance is also a symptom of our cortisol levels being extraordinarily high. In most situations, when we experience a trauma or toxic stress, our cortisol levels go up, but then they go down as we start to adjust. But because this trauma has been for six months now, our cortisol levels are all very high. It's going to take time for us to really readjust and reduce that level of cortisol 